welcome once again to the, uh, the, the this is a Tuesday's ins installment of the, uh, the South Sligo Summer School uh, Tubber Curry Guitar Workshop. Um, that, that, was a, that was a tune called Gardeners, which we're going to do today. I, I was just, just, before, um, just before I was uh, running over and making sure I knew it myself, um, I, uh, I just decided, there's a little trick, just to bring you in on it. There, there's, uh, I, I basically tuned the A string. I tuned the A string down to G. That's just like if you're playing tunes in G, let's say if you're doing a set maybe in... In, maybe in G or something like that, or maybe a tune before where you're just doing the single notes without any, uh, without any um, kind of you know backing or that. You might you might decide to uh, I don't know. Okay. You you might do something like uh, say the collateral. You might you might play it without any ringing notes. Can That you might. I just did that, that way too fast, but I was just going going over it um, quickly there, just to give you an idea how you might use that that that, that uh, geez, if you're if you're arranging a set of tunes, you, you, if you want to get a bit more power into the second one, you and go and you were going into a G tune, you might just you know give it a bit of a uh, thing like that. You can you can give give these things a try. Uh, another that's just why just while we're at that um, there's another wee thing you can do just before we get into today's tune today's tune is gardeners by the way but before we get into that we'll do a, another wee thing you can do it's all kind of half ripped off from kind of Dick Gohan stuff Dick Gohan did a lot of this kind of thing I don't think he used this tune but he does a, he, he did a, a thing years ago where he kind of did bagpipe tune and where he did a lot of A strings and he sort of took the same idea and took, took it to a D drone. The Rakish Paddy, a pretty well known, known reel. Uh, maybe you can do that at some point. I uh, don't know whether uh, whether I get a chance now, but um, I'll just go back to the normal tune anyway, so just for the, for, for, the, for the purpose of the lesson. Just thought of, you, you, might get, you might as well get as much information as you can while you're here. But um, Anyway, I'll just, what, I, what I'll do is I'll um, I, I'm, I'll play through. The, it's a, a tune called Gardeners. Uh, Gardeners. I don't. I'm not 100 percent sure how it got the name, but I think there's a. I could be wrong with this, and please correct me if I'm wrong about it. But I, I think it's actually named after there was a, a great uh, flute player and fiddle player called John Joe Gardner from. Uh, he was from Round Valley Moat, and he, he he moved over to Dundalk, and uh, John, John Joe was. Uh, I, I think he was a big. He, he was quite quite a big influence on the music around around, around Dundalk. A lot, there's a lot of great musicians around there, and the kind of you know, people, you know, that a lot of people, a lot of people that were, would remember him like that. Kind of was a great, 
Yeah, there was you know the great respect for him as a player. I remember I remember seeing him. I think I met him once or twice. I was, I was only I was I was only a kid like, and he was kind of in. I think he was maybe in his eighties or something at the time, but he was still playing great stuff. Great, really, really great musician like, and but I think that the, the gardeners could could have been named after him. Now I'm not I'm not sure, but uh, correct correct me on that. I don't I don't always have that a hundred percent right. But anyways, what I'll do is I'll um. I played the tune at a kind of a moderate speed. I was playing all that stuff way too fast. Sorry about that. Anyway, but um, they, but it's it's a like a there was a little reel called Gardner. It's very popular in this in this part of the world. It was it was one of those tunes I, that it was it it it's, it usually would be kind of played after a tune called the Duke of Leinster. The Duke of Leinster is a great a great uh, popular tune around the, these parts as well. But those two together, they've been they, they would have been a, a favorite favorite uh, of the great great Peter Horn. He would play those two together all the time. But anyways, I'll, I'll just go run over Gardner's fee. I played I played up to speed, roughly up to speed, and then I, what I'll do is I'll I, I'll put I'll put up some um, uh, some some guitar tab, and uh, I'll put the bro the broken the kind of broken down slow version of it just to. And build it up from there anyway. So I'll, I'll just play it to give you an idea. Well, let's make up the speed first. Over there, anyway, up, up, up to speed. So, um, so anyways, what, what I'm going to do now is, um, we'll, we'll just, uh, we, we, I'm just going to go over it very, very slowly, and we'll build it up with the, with the, with the tab as well. Just one note on the tab, just uh, while you're there as well. I think, I think, I, I have a tendency to write uh, on the tab when, like, a, a, some sometimes I'll use um, the the kind the kind of closed the closed B there. For, you know, on this tune, I think I'm actually used it. That type of thing. But you, if you want to use an open, it's totally up to yourselves. Whatever. I think I've written it with a closed B, and there's one. Well, there's one or two I'm using. Sometimes closed, and sometimes sometimes open on the tab. But um, if you see me doing anything any different or anything like that, don't 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 worry too much about it. Like I'd say, decide what's the most comfortable to yourself to play that note open or closed. So you see what what flow is best for you. Anyway, so we we'll, we we'll play ahead with that. Thank you. 
start that again. Sorry, my fault. Okay, the whole tune.
Now, uh, right, the card, the cards are uh, rolled out in the the tab there. Let's so see, looking at it in front of him here. So you have a, there's a card. The cards there's never there, there, there's never definite cards for these tunes. You just come, you tend to just come up with them, but they're they're usually there's usually a, 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 a kind of an idea rather than a set of cards. But, but anyway, the uh, it tends to be um, like that G kind of kind of a four four as well, just as kind of down down up down as well as the um, as well as that when you're picking the tune as well. So it'd be kind of down down Got in the se- it's fairly straightforward. What I've got in the, the second part then is dun, it's, it's even more straightforward to that, th- that third line anyway. Dun, Uh, I'm not the greatest lilter in the world, but you get the idea of the tune and how the chords react off it there. But um, so so as regards where else you'd go with with that chordly, that's kind that's sort of a uh, kind of a basic starting point for it. Anyways, you might it might even need much more. It can be just in how you play it, but um, you know you could you could you could do that kind of um, let's say where you, in the first line there where you've got G, A minor. You could, you could substitute that second G with the G over B, so you get a little, you know, and you and you could actually substitute the A minor for C, which is kind of its, its relative major. And what happens there? You've got a kind of running up bass note kind of down, you know. So there's a little bit of a plot there. You know, you one idea there kind of a, um, and and you could actually you could carry that right through that'll work on the, the the second part as well but um but what you could do again if you wanted to change the dynamic in the first part, or the, sorry, the second part, if you want to change the dynamic in the second part, you could actually bring in an E. You could bring in an E, an e minor. So you'd be kind of, you might, just for example, you might go for the first part, like we did. Or if you wanted to fill it more, you could like those. You could uh, over the first three bars, the second part, you could go C G and replace your G over B with an E minor. So that would be pattern there, no kind So that's kind of, you know, that's yeah, there's pl- there's kind of plenty going on there in terms of um, 
you know, back in the the chord, the chord, and then you could you know, just vary variants on that. You can use that for you know. Same chords, but just doing them kind of. You know, it's back to it's like the same as I was talking yesterday. Like you've got G, let's say. It's a it's very strongly a G kind of rooted tune that kind of it's kind of that brightness about it kind of so you're kind of sometimes you're finding you know, a lot it, 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 it can be inter useful to know just different version different versions of the same chord you know the because that can give you your dynamic without pushing sometimes without pushing the tune too far out of his character sometimes you know but. Well, you, know, you can experiment as well, kind of. That, but that's one. That's one from. That's one of those tunes for me. It seems to kind of stay. It, it, it sort of, sort of seems to stay in the one, the, the one kind of spot, really. You know, um. And as regards other ideas, the um, you know, like this, basically. You know, you could. I suppose you could. Like, you could. You could do. That, if you if you decided to, is that the only thing you do this more probably in a performance than in a in, in a session because you don't know what tunes are coming up and you having to retune and that kind of thing. But if you but if you had something worked out in the performance, you could. You know something like that. I'm then just making this up. Kind of Alec Finn, the style nearly. You know, that's a wee riff just just down off the top of the head, but that's the idea sometimes maybe if you can some find find some little riff that is a characteristic to, of its own that could work with the tune as well that you could probably play that right through. It's just, you're into kind of a range in territory here. You know, you know you're kind of a thing there you, could, you know depends depends who you're playing with uh, some like it depends you know it could it could work with some styles and not with others but kind of it it's like that anything you do you know. this that's a that'd be probably more type band playing like that type of that type of thing so um Basically, that's um, so. I'm just got if I were to go back to the ordinary tuning again, but kind of drop D. You know, there's kind of a. I suppose you could kind of another type, another type of style again. That that like I suppose Dennis Cahill would. He I'm not saying exact exactly this, but you know he would have that kind of. 
that kind of pul pulsing. Two chords, only a bass, no change, and he was, he was like Dennis, be a bit, a bit of a master with that, that kind of thing of finding just something like that. That's total, like you know, kind of gone gone really into Dennis Cattle's territory there. He's probably has tutorials up about all that. You can, you know, but it's just other other ideas, like. But um, but that's um, I mean that's I think that's basically that tune covered. I think in in a, in a basic way, you've got there's a good basis there for it, anyways. And you know, as you get you know as you get to know the tune, you know that that's um, you you you'll get you know you'll get used to it even with even with playing it. There's kind of um. You know what I tend to do a lot. Instead of going, there's a. It's okay, nice. You kind of. It's like if I slow it down. Things. You don't have to put them in every time, and kind of um, you know, the, the, and then there's wee variations. Then just just when you get to know the tune, you, you'll be able to comfortably move out maybe a little bit, kind of. Uh, <laughs> you know, those things like that. Maybe when you're into, if you play it a few times round, you you might go just. Again, these are just ideas. I, I them only half worked out in ways, but but anyways, that's there. I think there's loads to mess around with there on, on that tune, anyway. So I think we 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 we'll leave it we we'll, we we'll leave it there for today, anyways. And thanks very much for tuning in. Very much appreciate it. Um, again, this this video will be still there. You can you can look back in it. Uh, you know, there there's uh, if 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 there's any, anything you're not too sure of, and don't be afraid to put any questions in the comment section if you want to as well. And uh, Shane McGowan will be uh, doing the class tomorrow and Thursday. So Shane has a whole different batch of ideas. Once, as I said before, a great player, a great teacher. And um, anyway, sure. Look, uh, thanks for once again. Thanks for listening and uh, take care of yourselves. And we'll see you on Friday. I'll be doing my, ne my next, my next class. I think that'll be probably the last one of the week. I think. Um, 
that's, so um, anyway, take care of yourself. And thanks very much. <laughs>